In this episode of Gene and Renee Travel Adventures, we're looking around Todos Santos. It's a really neat town, and I want to share with you how we really feel about it. And I think you'll see that in these pictures. At the Burger Shack, there's a guy that owns this. He actually used to live in Virginia Beach, Virginia, so we kind of have a connection there. Steve, and Steve, man, the burgers here are they are great. I wish we'd taken a picture and we will in a future video take a picture a video of our food but it is it was so awesome that once it got there I was hungry and we just started woofing it down. Speaking of woof several of the local dogs come in here and they're just so nice and kind and have the sweetest little eyes and they look at you and of course you give them part of your food and they are most happy to receive it. Now, of course, if you offer him a pickle, he probably doesn't want it. What he wants is a burger. He wants the real deal. He'll even take chicken. If you give him a chicken sandwich, he'll eat that too. Give him a little bit of bacon or burger. Yeah. Santos Picados. We went there for my birthday, which is Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th. Jonathan, by the way, he was our waiter. Fantastic. As he will tell you, he's the best there is anywhere on the Baja Peninsula as far as uh, as a waiter goes. He's excellent. Wonderful food here. Great atmosphere. We met some folks that were seated beside our table. I believe they were from California. Great folks and uh, great, great to meet you guys. Jenny, of course, anxious to get some of everything. Fresh guacamole, fresh tortilla chips, some garlic bread to go with the meal. Now, I had the shrimp that is uh, wrapped with bacon. It's got cheese. Oh, my goodness. It was so, so, so good. Renee got the coconut shrimp, and they were awesome as well. Let me show you what I got. Maybe you would like a taste. I wish I could give you some. Open up. Come on, open up. There you go. Oh, well. I'll taste it for you, and I will tell you, you would have liked it. It is very good. There's Jonathan. All right, looking around town a little bit here. This is one of the parks. A lot of children things here. A lot of things for kids and young families. Skateboard park here. Now, keep in mind, Toto Santos is an artist community. And artwork is everywhere, whether it's going to be graffiti or it's going to be artisans, painters, you name it. Uh, and you'll see some of that in this video. Plenty of other restaurants everywhere you look. There are great restaurants, whether they are Palapa Roof restaurants, you know, Terracotta Roof restaurants, or just uh, a street cart on the side selling tacos. Plenty of restaurants and every kind of cuisine that you could imagine. Now this obviously is creme de la creme, upscale. Osteria, I believe was the name of it. Gorgeous restaurant. We've not eaten there yet. But, uh, hey, if we go there, you will too. Looking down the street, you'll see the Subaru with our Gene and Renee Travel Adventures logo on it. Let's follow these footsteps. Where do they lead? They lead to a children's center, of course. A lot of the old history of Toto Santo seen in some of these buildings. Gorgeous, gorgeous architecture. Plaza Amigos. Restaurants back here, plus things to buy. Plenty of things to buy all around Toto Santos. Now we'll say this, Toto Santos, it is, you know, it looks like the typical uh, Mexican town on the Baja, gorgeous town, 
But you have the influence of a lot of California and West Coast down here. Not meaning a bad thing, but I'm just saying as far as financially, your cost of living here a lot higher. A lot higher than anywhere else in Mexico that we have found, except for maybe uh, Cabo San Lucas. But uh, this is up there. Everything is very expensive, or at least by Mexican standards, very expensive. And you've got some that are from you know, states like California, Colorado, and all that, that come down here, and they open a business, and they are in business uh, to sell their product. And so they're basically pricing it at what it would have sold for in California or Colorado. And, you know, that's all well and good, but it doesn't help the local economy. What it does is it raises prices to where the locals can't afford to either eat here, buy here, live here almost. And when I say that, I'll give you an example. Uh, everywhere that we have lived in Mexico, uh, we will schedule and try to get a massage usually once a week. My old back hurts and Renee's joints hurt and it, it just, it's good. And usually, uh, it's going to run you about 500 pesos, so about you know, $25 for an hour. Now, I know back in the USA, uh, when we were in the USA a couple of years ago, usually it's a dollar a minute. So 60-minute massage is going to run you about 60 to $75. Uh, here, like I said, about $25. Now, that was in Puerto Vallarta, Nueva Nagarit. That was in San Miguel de Allende, which is a pricey kind of town up in Ensenada, which is right outside of San Diego, California. We were paying, there again, 500 pesos an hour. Get down here, and I questioned the local expat group to see if uh, anybody knew about massages. Most all of them are like 1,000 pesos and up. So like, you know, 50 to $75. And, and, I, and I made the mention that, hey, uh, a little pricey, isn't this? And I got chewed out by a lady that uh, said, you're a colonialist. You tr come down here and you try to cheat the people and they're trying to make a living and all that. And, you know, uh, I run a massage and I, I wouldn't do it for less than $100 an hour. And I looked on our Facebook page, she's from Colorado. So they're again, bringing the high prices down here to where the locals can't afford it. So that's not good. Here's a coffee place I went to one day to use their internet. Now that is an issue, really pretty much on the Baja Peninsula. Internet access. You have internet access, it's just not gonna be fast. And most of Toto Santos, you're looking at about five to 10 megabytes per second download. And you're lucky if you've got that much on the upload. So kind of hard if you're uploading videos to YouTube, you know? But I uh, went to this coffee shop. Isn't it really neat, gorgeous? Some other little shops around the outside perimeter of it, but a nice, nice place to, to get a cup of coffee or a sandwich or some breakfast and uh, spend some time surfing the web if you can, uploading a video if you can. Stopped one evening at five tacos and a beer. This is one of those little, you know, sandy spots underneath the trees that you get some tacos, you can get a burrito, or as in Renee's case, she got a hot dog, but uh, she said it was a very good hot dog. I had three tacos, not five tacos, couldn't hold that many, but these are uh, the, the blue corn tacos. And all three of these are pork, just different styles. Went into town today, and there, of course, the bandstand here in the town center. Gorgeous church you're going to see in just a second. The site where this mission was founded was explored by Father Jaime Bravo in 1723. He wanted to build a Vista town, able to help support the mission of Nuestra Senora del Pilar in La Paz. He explored these southern lands in February of the same year and chose this place for a Vista town 
to the great numbers of Piracu Indians that he found there, as well as for its climate and soil conditions, good for agriculture. Under Father Bravo's direction, sowing of some crops begun. Amongst the more important were corn and sugar cane. As time went by, Toto Santos became one of the main providers of the mission of Nuestra Senora del Pilar in La Paz. In 1733, the Vista Town became the mission of Santa Rosa de Todos Santos, and Father Segismundo Taraval was appointed the resident missionary. Later, when the mission of La Paz was closed, the mission of Santa Rosa de Todos Santos adopted the name Nuestra Senora del Pilar de Todos Santos. Although this temple is not the one that was built in the 18th century, it is now shown as one of the keystones that gives the pride to the contemporary Southern California society. In most all Mexican towns, you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous painted sign, the letters that spell out the name of the town or the name of the city. Here's Todos Santos in Baja California Sur, Mexico. Now, while Toto Santos is not on the ocean itself, look over the tree lines. You see that blue over there, that dark blue? That's the Pacific Ocean. So you're very, very close. You're within five minute drive to the ocean. It might be a bumpy five minutes, but you can get there. A lot of artisans here, a lot of craft work, a lot of beautiful things being sold. Let me show you some of them. See this man here? He wears his headphones for the music that inspires him to paint and just watch him go. Gorgeous clothing that's made, jewelry. I mean, in this artist's area right here, I want you to look at the bathroom in a second. I'm not going to go inside the bathroom, but just where you wash your hands outside of it. Look how pretty and, and artisan, crafty, that area is. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know I could stay forever When you're lying in my arms My heart is open It just took some time Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while You fix what's broken When you make that smile so just stay for a little while So just stay for a little while I didn't think that I would find that someone Who's as honest as you are the way you make me feel at night when I am vulnerable and it's cold outside but you make it all right I want to know you better and here is the Hotel California now a lot of debate about that one through the years the Eagles song hotel you know welcome to the Hotel California and evidently this hotel kind of capitalize on that for some time and the eagles end up saying hey uh there really was no hotel california that we were alluding to in that song and so it went to court and in the usa and basically they said hey you, you can't say that you are the hotel california of the song so anyway it's still the hotel california gorgeous old building going to stop talky talkying for just a few minutes and just let you look around it's such a gorgeous town and remember this is just your first look at it you're going to see so much more in the next couple of weeks of todos santos
just took some time Now I just hope that you stay for a little while You fix what's broken when you make that smile So just stay for just took some time now i just hope that you stay for a little while you fix what's broken when you make that smile so just stay stick with me for a few more minutes because i want to show you an adventure that Jenny and I had out at the beach one day when Renee had gone back to Virginia to check on her mom. It was an adventure. Jenny is 15 and a half years old. She's a little toy poodle. We got her when she was about the size of a guinea pig and she has always loved the beach. She loves the feeling of sand underneath of her little paws. She loves running on the sand, licking the sand, eating the sand, rolling in the sand, the whole beach experience, she likes it. Well, what I learned one day was when you're busy filming the dog and you're busy filming the ocean and not paying attention to your surroundings, well, you and the dog can both get a surprise. Oh well, we both shook it off, well dry off, you know, it's nice and warm here, and low humidity, and we still love the beach. I want to leave you on this video with some scenes of the evening down by the Pacific. It is gorgeous as the sun sets. Uh, I want you to see this. In fact, these, some of these pictures you see here, you'll see them again in June when our other channel, Take a Breath, goes live the first Sunday in June. And uh, very soon you'll be able to subscribe to that channel and we would appreciate you doing that. Hey, thank you so much for joining us on the journey. If you've not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share it. We appreciate it so very much. Drop us a comment. We love to hear from you and we love the opportunity to respond. Thank you. and. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos.